people are gathering more and more, especially around the holidays. But COVID-19 isn't behind us just yet, so we must continue to do our part to slow the spread. Let's dive into best practices for COVID safer gatherings. Travel. Avoid travel if you're unvaccinated. If you must travel, here are some best practices. Get tested first, wear a properly fitted N95 mask, consider eye protection, don't eat or drink en route, get tested before gathering, especially with people who are unvaccinated or vulnerable. Gathering indoors. If you are indoors, here are factors to keep in mind. How well vaccinated are the attendees? How well ventilated is the space? Is testing being implemented? But I'm vaccinated. The COVID vaccine is not a silver bullet. In reality, the COVID vaccine is highly effective in protecting against hospitalization and death. But as with all vaccines, it does not make you invincible and does not eliminate the risk of transmitting COVID-19 to others. Best practice, continue to use caution. Wear a high filtration mask indoors for added protection, especially if you have unvaccinated or vulnerable persons in your household or bubble. Get tested before going back around unvaccinated or vulnerable people unmasked. If you have symptoms, always get tested. Ventilation, are there open doors or windows? Is there central air? How crowded is it? This is even more important if masks are off. For example, if guests are eating and drinking. Best practice, use a CO2 monitor to measure ventilation. If ventilation is poor, you may choose to sit by a crack window or wear a high filtration mask. Testing, even with a negative PCR test result, a person could become infected with COVID after the initial test and unknowingly spread the virus. Best practice, take a rapid test for peace of mind up to the minute. In the absence of a rapid test, it's best to err on the side of caution and wear a high filtration mask to protect yourself and others. And don't forget, keep a guest list with contact information in case anyone does develop symptoms. 